I've had many requests to start narrating my videos again. Due to technical problems and time constraints, that's not been possible of late. But for this special occasion, the end of the world, I'll make an exception. So I borrowed my wife's laptop and recorded this video. Past civilizations have left monuments to their greatness. The pharaohs left the pyramids. The Sumerians left us writing. But I think the Greeks and the Vikings had the best idea. They wrote epic poems. So I've written such a poem about the upcoming disaster. I plan to bury a copy of this printed on rice paper with sugar-infused inks in my backyard in a time capsule for future generations of archaeologists to find. They'll probably be from the ant or cockroach genus. And assuming that they don't eat the paper before they decipher it, our legacy will be secure. It was written from the point of view of a prophet who predicted this upcoming disaster and tried to warn people, but was ridiculed and persecuted for his revelations. A Cassandra-like figure. So here's the first, and unfortunately the last, recital of an ode to Nibiru. No matter how long I sit in there, I see a planet that isn't there. It wasn't there again today. I wish, I wish it would go away. Those who can see it must be blind, for it's not the easiest thing to find. To north, south, east or west, not seeing it is the acid test. Nibiru is the planet's name, but you can't see it just the same. Which proves it must be there, though I can't see it for its glare. It explains the UFOs round the sun. They're here to observe the fun. To see the effects when planets collide. To hear the bang when worlds coincide. NASA, the truth is hidden. To speak of it is forbidden. Their attempts to destroy it have failed, so they've kept its presence veiled. The mass of Jupiter times four, some say possibly much, much more. Made of iron, inky black, thus impossible to track. Explaining why none can observe its progress along its orbital curve, but its presence I have felt since it passed the asteroid belt. When I was out one night at three, it hung in the sky over me. To the police I made a call, but they couldn't see it at all. They sought it here, they sought it there, they sought this Nibiru everywhere. But I'm the only one who knows, but its position I can't disclose. I told them all life it will eclipse by bringing about the apocalypse. I said an old Mayan told me so, and being dead he ought to know. In my planet they refused to believe, so put me in a cell without reprieve. The judge was less sympathetic after I revealed it was magnetic. Now in a padded cell I sit, ring the day I didn't see it. But the joke's on them, you see, for in here it cannot harm me. So through this window I often peep, searching the starry heavens deep, hoping against hope to see my planet safe behind these walls of granite. Twinkle, twinkle, my death star, I'm the one who knows what you are. Not a Christmas star of peace, but our population to decease. Oh, see there, it comes on a pace to wipe out all life without a trace. 21 December is the dire date when we all go to meet our fate. It's when the Mayan calendar ends. My horoscope says I'll be losing friends. The omens of Nostradamus agree. The problem is there's nowhere to flee. Tick tock, tick tock, goes the doomsday clock. No technology will be left of civilization, the earth bereft. So I sent no presents this year, not even any survival gear. To each friend I sent a funeral wreath, as suggested to me their wealth bequeath. For I'm safe locked in my prison cell, even the guards I'm not going to tell. I'll be the last man left on earth, laughing at the rest for all my worth. Proving I'm the only one who's sane, there's nothing wrong with my brain. The planet's riches were mine, emperor of the whole world divine. But my plan has one slight flaw, how to get outside the door. After who will be there to set me free? Who's going to be left to turn the key? So I have no way to escape, and no plan is taking shape. At picking locks I have no skill. Seems my dream I can't fulfill. So each day I sit here in despair, seeing a planet that isn't there. It wasn't there again today. How I wish it would go away.